Hey, y'all. <laughs> Roll readiness here. I gotta fix me a glass of tea. Today is laundry day. I'm getting my eyes. <laughs> and I have a, a furry friend who likes to eat ice. So, let me share my ice with her. Right? This comes out of the ice maker over there. Yeah. <clears throat> There you go. Now get on. Hang on. I'll bring you back. So, today is laundry day. No fun, no fun. How do you do laundry if you're stuck in an RV um, besides going to the laundromat or the laundry facility or the whatever they have in RV parks. In this RV park, it is one building with one washer, one dryer, and they charge like $3 a load to wash and then no telling how much to dry because like I haven't used it. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what I've got. Hang on and I'll bring you back. All right, so this is what I was able to figure out as far as doing laundry in the RV. This is a Magic Shelf um, and it is a 0.9 cubic foot um, automatic washer. <clears throat> so the way that I've got it hooked up is, let me show you that. So I've got the, <clears throat> the extension cord plugged up over there where my ice maker usually is plugged up and the drain just loops over the top of the sink and it just sits here in front of the sink this base stays on my sink all the time and then when I get ready to use the washer I will just pull it over here in front of the sink and hook up the water line to my sink faucet So that's all I have to do to turn water on to the washer. So I'm going to do a um, load of clothes today and then I'll show you the dryer. So when you open it up, <clears throat> you see the tub part of it. Um, this is where the water comes out. This is the tub. And then these are your controls here. So I'm going to put some clothes in here because, like, it's old yucky laundry day. So these are the pods that I use. Um, they're kind of big for the load that fits in here, but um, I do an extra rinse cycle, so it's not really a big deal. So I'm going to see. Okay, so shirts, pants, socks. Um, I try to do my towels together because I don't like the lint that the towels put on my clothes. So that's just one of my <laughs> one of my quirks. I don't like it. So <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. So I've got the load set on heavy. You can go through, this is large, small, medium, large, wash, I've got it set at 12 minutes, rinse, I've got, I'm going to increase it to three, spin, five minutes. <clears throat> and it starts filling up.
and it's coming from and it's coming from my faucet um, with the sink so I'll let it start washing and then I will bring you back okay so it's really interesting because when you open the lid I was going to open the lid and let you see the water in there when you open the lid you get this alarm that goes off and it throws an error code so then you have to close it back for it to continue to wash your clothes and then when, when you open it again <laughs> get that error code it's like don't open the dry don't open the washer when it's running because that's dangerous yeah anyway I thought that was interesting I figured I'd show you but <clears throat> yeah it's rub a dub dub dirty clothes in the tub yep yep anyway it works you know it seems to do a good job um, and I'll show you as it goes along and it tells you this is an extra long cycle because I did some work outside in these clothes and they were extra nasty so <clears throat> I put the cycle on for a long time so it tells you how long the how many minutes is left in your cycle so I'm hoping that this um, when Josh and I get to his property Josh has a washer and dryer in his camper and then this one will be in my camper so I'm hoping that in between the two of them we can keep laundry to a minimum um, living in these small quarters right um, so, <clears throat> I'm, I'm ready to be somewhere besides the RV park. I'm just, I'm just going to say I'm ready to be somewhere besides the RV park. Anyway, <clears throat> but, um, Prepper X did a video on his channel about points to think about when you're looking at property to buy. Um, so I'm going to leave a link to his video in the description below and I'll put it up there and you can go check out that video because he made some very valid points um, when you are buying property and the things that you want to look for um, so y'all go check out that video and I'm going to keep doing my laundry well, I can guarantee you that I'm not spending $3 to wash and probably $15 to dry. It's just not going to do it. So, um, <clears throat> old boy at the, <laughs> at the RV park and his little laundry facility, I, I don't want no part of it. Anyway, so this is the workaround that I've come up with. And so far, I think it's doing pretty good. So, I will bring you back. So it just went into drain and it's draining right into my sink so that's a good thing. spinning the clothes and drains into the sink
and it's self-leveling the tub part is self-leveling so that's that's a good thing so there's not a lot of vibration when it goes into the spin mode um, now it does say in the book that if you have a lot of shaking that you need to re-level your load or level your machine or you know <clears throat> things of that nature but I mean it's it's <laughs> you're my hungry dog over there oh my goodness she says she's starving to death So it's, it's, it's doing a good job of spinning the soap out of the clothes. <clears throat> and then I did set it to rinse three cycles so that the extra soap that was in that pod, it was kind of large, I think. Um, so <clears throat> I don't want soap residue in my clothes, so I just put it to an extra rinse. I bought the wrong size when I bought those and they're really too big for this for this washer so I'll just do extra rinses until I can replace them with a smaller size so it'll fill up with water now and start rinsing start the rent the first rinse cycle and <clears throat> I will let it do its thing and bring you back. Alright, so there's my clothes. Now, what am I going to do to dry my clothes? So, hang on and I will show you. Alright, so we're out on the deck. <laughs> um, outside of the camper. And this is the dryer. And this is a... This is a Magic Chef 1.5 cubic foot compact dryer. <clears throat> and that's what it looks like. That back there is the filter for the dryer. And so I put my dryer sheet in there first because I like my clothes to smell good and I just put my clothes in there just like that yep shut the door on it You see the control down here and I'm going to turn it over here to hot we got cool warm hot and air dry so I'm gonna turn it all the way around and that's it so I will let it run and I have my hangers right here so that um, <clears throat> I can hang my shirts up when they come out of the dryer I get them out when they're a little damp so there's really not anywhere that I've figured out um, that I can put the dryer inside the camper so I brought it out here and I just have it sitting on the little Thing there until I figure out because you can hang this on the wall um, and it's not very heavy at all but until I figure out where to put it I've got it out here on the deck and it is underneath the canopy and that's where it's gonna stay until I figure out where to put it but yeah so that's how you do laundry living in an RV yep yep <laughs> so 
laundry day is over for now <laughs> and you see behind me my office yeah <clears throat> so the laundry is done it's in the dryer I'll take them out um, when they whenever they get dry and I just figured that um, maybe you would enjoy seeing how laundry is done when you're in an RV um, they're really reasonable the washer and the dryer um, <clears throat> they were not real bad expensive um, you know they were kind of pricey but not not an exorbitant amount of money so I think it's gonna work for me and hopefully it will work for Josh and I both when we get to the property anyway I thought I'd bring that to you I hope you enjoyed it um, I hope it helps someone else out there when they're trying to figure out how to do laundry so that's it for me so until next time I'll see you later